you know, I had to do this video um, because today I got this interesting, interesting comment. It says, I know dude personally, and this is a weird tactic to grow your business. Many artists don't have an extra 400 to to $1,000 a month to market themselves and hope to make a return on investment. Um, I said, weird tactic. Bro, $100 a month is $1,200 a year. Times that by when you got your interview with us when we first started our business, by the way. It was 2013. That's over $10,800. It's literally, literally no excuse. By the way, when you got the interview, that was when I started my business with $100,000 in student loan debt, paying $1,200 a month in student loans. If you don't hustle, it won't happen, period. Now... For this guy to come on here and say artists don't have an extra four hundred to a thousand dollars a month, that's a fucking lie. Yes, they do. They spend it on McDonald's, PlayStation Five, PlayStation Four, PlayStation Three, <laughs> right? Shoes, clothes, belts, cars, rims, beats in a trunk. Jewelry, weed. Come on, bro. Stop it. Fast food. I know people that are spending at least $100 a week on fast food. So when people are, when people like him say uh, you don't have an extra $400 to $1,000 a month to market yourself and hope to make a return on investment, what the hell is $100 a week going to give you as a return on investment on fast food? What is a PlayStation 5 going to give you as a return on your investment? That It's a simple question. What is uh, So anytime an artist has an excuse on return on investment and I go on a page and I see them splurging on bullshit, but then they come back and talk about my prices and be mad that I made a video that says it's your fault if you don't make it. If your views and your streams are low, it's your fault for not investing in marketing because it fucking is. It's your fault if you're successful. It's your fault if you're not successful. Man up. Stop being soft. Stop making excuses and get to fucking work. Get to work. If you only got one job, get another job. Lyft, Uber Eats, DoorDash, clean people's cars uh, inside of their car work man it's 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 no excuse for somebody to be broke you're not working period you're just not working don't have a car okay hey can i borrow your car to do lift i'll give you 10 20 percent of what i make in lift you can't ask somebody to lift a car after you get off work from maybe seven to ten o'clock for three hours because you can set your hours for lift so for seven to ten PM, you can't ask somebody to use their car for three hours and then pay them a percentage. You can't do that because you're lazy. So at the end of the day, man, my prices are my prices. It works. The service works. It's for people who want to get it. It may not be a lot of it. Matter of fact, I know it's not a lot of you guys that want to make it, and that's fine. But don't come over here and try to criticize me and tell me that they don't have it to invest to get a return on their investment when they buy in bullshit that will never give them a return on investment. Marketing is not about a return on investment. It's an opportunity to grow your fan base so you have opportunities to get deals. It's not a buy this, flip.